we're getting all different kinds of reports. One day you'll be told we're not looking at a centre back as a priority. And then another day we're told, well, actually, no, we are now looking for a centre back. Same with defensive midfielder. The only real concrete links have been in attackers. And I'm going to speak about Nico Williams because this looks a bit positive. But again, I don't know what to believe. So last night when I was doing my reading, getting ready for today, I always start off with the uh, back pages on Sky at about half past ten and then work from there. The Daily Express have reported that Athletic Bilbao winger Nico Williams may be on his way to Liverpool this summer according to multiple emerging reports. So I started to look into these emerging reports and they look like they're starting to come out of Spain. Now, again, I would say take these with a pinch of salt because they're ones that I think are very friendly to Barcelona. And I get the feeling that Liverpool are being bigged up in this conversation and that Barca are trying to get a deal done. I hope that these stories are true. I'm going to read one out to you now. It said, Liverpool are being linked with a move for Athletic Bilbao star Nico Williams. According to Spanish news outlet Nacional, Liverpool are prepared to activate the release clause in Williams' contract this summer. The release clause is reported to be £46.5 million and he's been linked with a move away from La Liga. So here's where we get to the conversation about the wages, right? Because that's what we're all going to say. Wages, Craig, he wants a lot of money. And he does. And normally, I would sit here and say to you, I understand the wage structure. I understand if Liverpool don't want to break it. And I understand if we're a bit cautious. But not, not anymore. And let me tell you why. <clears throat> Over the past few days, you've probably seen some articles and some pieces that suggested Liverpool have saved £18.7 million. That's absolutely true. We have saved £18.7 million per year. And that's because the wages of Joel Matip, Thiago Alcantara and Adrian San Miguel are off the wage books. Meaning that Liverpool have freed up, what, about 380 grand a week? So we could absolutely afford to pay Nico Williams the £300,000 a week he's asking for. Now, do I feel like he's a £300,000 a week player? Not yet, but I also feel like his release clause is a little bit low. So I feel like it balances itself out for me. If you look at that on the club's balance sheet over the course of five years, it starts to look a lot more doable. But there is, of course, the elephant in the room of the three contracts, the Mohamed Salah, Virgil van Dijk and Trent. And if they're going to renegotiate and they see a youngster coming in on 300 grand a week, well, that's going to be the starting point, especially for Trent. It would be if I was his agent anyway. But I think the club have to just move with the times on this one. If Nico Williams is the one that we want, is the one that the numbers show is a prodigious young talent, then pay it. Pay it. It looks small in the grand scheme of things. And look, I think he's the best player for the job. It does have to have a conversation around, do we actually need a left winger? And that's a whole different conversation. We may need a left winger. We may not need a left winger. A lot will come down to what happens with uh, Luis Diaz and his contract this summer. But... I mean, look, Regista said we can't break our wage structure for Williams. Why? I'd much rather give him the money than Salah. So why can't we break it? We broke it for Mo. Now, of course, I'm not here to say Mo didn't deserve that. He deserved every penny of that deal. But we have to look to the future. And if you want to bring in a player like Nico Williams for a reasonable transfer fee, which, let's be honest, £46 million is for an exciting young winger, I think you look at it differently. Because we have to look about what's on the balance sheet for the club. And if Nico Williams was on 300 grand a week, that's 15 million pound a year, give or take. On top of that, you've got a transfer fee of about eight and a half million pound a year. So that on the club's balance sheet will be amortized as 18 and a half million quid over the course of Nico Williams' five year contract at the club. No, sorry, I got that wrong. 300 grand a week. And then, what was I putting this other year? Three, that's 15 million and a nine and a half million. 24 and a half million, sorry. On the club's balance sheet over the course of the five-year contract. That's absolutely doable. It's very, very achievable. And I get what people say about the wage structure. I do understand, but we also have to improve the team with the best we can afford. And if it means getting creative with the accountancy of how this is technically being paid to him... I don't mean breaking any rules, but I mean, let's say there's incentives, very achievable incentives that we can still say his base wage is, I don't know, 220 grand a week or something. I feel like it could be figured out. And I feel like he's worth doing it for because we've been waiting and patient and looking and seeing and asking who this generational talent is. I think this kid is going to be a world beater. 
And I think forty-five million pound will look like nothing in two years' time. So for me, it's a no-brainer. But I'm not running the football club. Uh, Craig was Thiago not on half that, so I just give him that, and we have Matip, Adrian, wages and people. Thiago was on two hundred grand a week, which is about ten million quid a year. Uh, Adrian San Miguel sixty grand a week, which is what three million quid a year, give or take. And then Joel Matip was on 100 grand a week, which is about 5 million quid a year. So that's where that figure, Scotty, of 18.7 million pound comes in. That's money we've already saved. And we don't need to replace Thiago. He played all of five minutes last year, and I mean that in a literal sense. So we don't need to replace him in the squad. So why not use his money for a prodigious young talent? I I mean, it seems like a no-brainer to me. Uh, Why are we relying on wages saved to talk about transfer business surely the club should just pay the money no oh no i get that mark i'm just trying to negate the future arguments when i say about nico williams so for me to come on here and make the argument for liverpool to sign nico williams i do need to be able to show how i think it's possible as well you know we've been told about this 18.7 million pound saving by the echo and some other outlets so i'm just making the argument as to why that money is already there and this should be even more of a no-brainer than it currently is in my mind. 